Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today we're going to be discussing how to actually understand how the balance of your wallet and your addresses is calculated and stored on the blockchain. Uh, this particular tutorial applies to currencies like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Other cryptocurrencies that are popular, like Ethereum, use a little bit of a different model, and we'll actually discuss that later in the tutorial. So before we discuss how we can understand our address and wallet balance, we need to talk a little bit about the concept of the unspent transaction output, UTXO. Uh, these outputs are created when somebody creates a transaction to send you some amount of Bitcoin. So if uh, somebody sends you uh, one Bitcoin, they'll create a transaction that creates an unspent transaction output that is owned by your address for one Bitcoin. Uh, these UTXOs have several important properties, such as the transaction ID, so that's the transaction that uh, this particular output was created from. The amount, which uh, depending on your wallet client or an API that you might be using, can either be displayed in whole Bitcoin or Satoshis, and the number of confirmations. The number of confirmations is the amount of blocks that have been added on top of the block that originally confirmed and processed this transaction. The more confirmations you have on top of a block, uh, the more secure that amount is considered to be. So the network uh, is more likely to always consider that as history and not have any changes in the network affect whether or not you uh, actually own that uh, amount of currency. So now we can talk a little bit about the UTXO model versus the account model of storing information about who owns what. So a traditional account model is used in the popular cryptocurrency Ethereum. And this acts much like uh, an account that you use at your traditional local bank. So there's some state stored over time about your deposits, your withdrawals, and then the total running balance based on sort of the sum of those things. So over time, there's just a, a ledger that stores, um, you know, here's what you spent, here's what you received in, and here's the current state of your balance. Now, the UTXO model functions a lot more like cash in your physical wallet. So, you know, if you pull out your wallet, you might have ones, fives, tens, twenties uh, in your, you know, currency of choice, depending on where you live. UTXOs function very similarly when you spend them in a new Bitcoin transaction. So if you go to the store and you have a dollar bill and you want to buy something for 50 cents, you can't just tear that dollar bill in half and give it to the cashier as 50 cents of value. You have to give them the whole dollar. And a UTXO is the same way when it comes to Bitcoin. When your wallet goes to create a new transaction to send somebody money, let's say you have uh, one Bitcoin UTXO uh, that your wallet wants to use to create this transaction it has to use that entire UTXO. But if you're going to spend uh, a half a Bitcoin to somebody, you can uh, use that whole amount and then send change back to your wallet address. You can also combine UTXOs to form the amount that you need. If you want to send somebody five Bitcoin and you have two half Bitcoin UTXOs, a three Bitcoin UTXO, and a one Bitcoin UTXO, your wallet can create a transaction uh, that combines those all together and sends that to somebody new. So again, this model is a lot more similar to cash, and it's fairly straightforward when you understand how this model works. You just have to delve a little bit into the technology and look at how the blockchain is actually storing information. Now, as always, there's a written tutorial available on the website uh, that explains this in depth. And there's also a project on GitHub and a live demo uh, that talks about uh, how you can understand your real live wallet address by plugging in an address and seeing your unspent transaction outputs. As always, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this tutorial interesting and informative.